it's mid-August and I'm here at RHS Wisley enjoying the absolutely beautiful floral gardens. Uh, I'm actually here to look around as much of it as I can today but I wanted to share with you uh, some of the things that I've really enjoyed seeing. This amazing hydrangea uh, is a paniculata, uh, it's a vanilla frise rene and I'll put the name up on the screen and it's the softest uh, creamy colour and the centre of each flower is pink and then the, the sepals are flushed pink too. It makes an absolute statement as you're walking up the hill uh, all you can see is this whew, a colour and it just draws your eye to it. It actually just reminds me of candy floss on a cane it's absolutely beautiful so this area is uh, it's more shaded it's more woody it's on the edge of a little bit of woodland and it has got uh, uh, beautiful hydrangeas and some of my favorite plants there's something almost prehistoric about gunra and manicata i don't know whether it's the spiky stems or just the huge size of the leaves but whatever it is i find it really attractive i've just bought one uh, for our garden the leaves are about dinner plate size and the whole thing is about a foot and a half tall uh, so I'm hoping that over time it will produce something as wonderful as this I don't think I'll be able to have a clump quite as large as this one is but I'm really looking forward to seeing that develop over the next few years I really love the contrast between the conical shape uh, hydrangea flowers here and these open lace cap ones here much more open, uh, much looser in its form of flowers. But again, picking up those subtle pinks uh, and very pale creams uh, to reflect uh, and tone with uh, the hydrangea uh, rennie. That is a bam as you walk around the corner or up the hill, it's like whew. And then this subtly picks it up. And right by it is uh, another hydrangea, there's a hydrangea uh, paniculata chantilly lace absolutely beautiful with these creamy white bracts and then the small flowers uh, hidden inside there really pretty very striking when it's contrasted with the other hydrangeas however fantastic those big showy beds are and i think they are i find something really special and really calming in these more wooded off the main drag areas where it's shady it's predominantly greens and then the colors are picked up by subtle flowers i find this very calming very lovely and then tucked away between bushes in the woodland area there are more hydrangeas and below them there are lilies masses of rhododendron and azaleas it's really cleverly laid out i never really got hydrangeas uh, before i never really understood what all the fuss was about but seeing them here in quite mature plants in such a nice setting uh, i'm totally sold on them there is work going on behind me so sorry about the noise but worth spending a moment or two looking at this uh, this is hydrangea hot chocolate it's got these red uh, almost brown leaves uh, the red ready brown comes through from the underside giving this fantastic color and the lace cap flowers are beautiful so pink sepals with a little purple center and then pink flower buds uh, and pale mauve on the flowers it's absolutely beautiful the bees are loving it i love it i want to look one of these out for our garden and another amazing hydrangea here you can probably see it from the distance as it's hydrangea paniculata unique and it is beautiful and in complete contrast uh, to that woodland area, I found this little spot. It feels very Italian. It's got a bistro table and chairs. 
and this beautiful uh, vine. It's actually about five or six vines that have been grown in a semicircle, which then uh, creates a perfect spot for sitting out, enjoying a little bit of sun, and as the sun moves around the sky, it'll give you a bit of shade too. Growing up in the 1970s, nearly everybody I knew had a hydrangea, a pink or blue lump in their garden that kind of just sat out of sorts in the middle of the lawn or just looking odd somewhere. What I've seen today has changed my mind about hydrangeas. Mm -hmm. 